Questions relating to Cengiz Khan has always been appeared in the UPSC examination countless number of times. Cengiz Khan, born Temujin around 1162, was the founder and the first great Khan of the Mongol Empire, which became the largest continuous empire in history after his death. Despite his vast conquest across Asia, Europe, Genghis Khan himself did not directly interact with India during his lifetime. The significant interaction between the Mongol Empire and the Indian subcontinent occurred under the rule of Genghis Khan's successors. Here is a comprehensive overview of the history of Genghis Khan, his empire, the Mongol interactions with India. Temujin or Genghis was born into a noble family of the Mongol confederation. After his father was poisoned by a rival tribal, his family was ostracized and lived in poverty. Through political alliances, marriages and military conquest, Temujin united the Mongol tribes under his leadership. In 1206, he was proclaimed Chengiz Khan, meaning universal ruler. Chengiz Khan embarked on a series of military campaigns that expanded the Mongol Empire across Central Asia, including parts of modern-day China, Iran and Afghanistan. His campaigns were known for their brutality but also for the integration of conquered people into his empire. Genghis Khan implemented innovative military strategies and merit-based administrative system. He established the YAM, a relay postal system and promoted religious tolerance within his empire. What about the Mongol invasions of India? The direct interactions between the Mongol Empire and India occurred after Genghis Khan's death in 1227, primarily during the reigns of his successors. Let's understand some of the important events that were associated, like the invasion during the reign of Genghis Khan's successors. The most significant Mongol incursion in India took place under Genghis Khan's grandson, Hulagu Khan, and later years. However, these were not directly by Genghis Khan himself. The Mongols made several attempts to invade the Indian subcontinent which was then ruled by the Delhi Sultans. The Mongol army led by generals of Genghis Khan's lineage engaged in numerous battles with the Sultanate forces, especially during the reign of Sultan Alauddin Khilji in the late 13th and the early 14th century. Although the Mongols managed to raid parts of Punjab and the Indus Valley, they were unable to establish a permanent presence in the Indian subcontinent. The Delhi Sultanate's military, particularly under Alauddin Khilji, successfully repelled the Mongol invasions. Genghis Khan left a complex legacy. He is credited with founding the Mongol Empire, promoting trade and communication across Asia through the Silk Route and instituting a legal and administrating reforms in his kingdom. However, his conquests were also marked by widespread destruction and loss of life. The Mongol invasion had lasting impact on the Indian subcontinent, influencing military tactics, political strategies and the historical trajectory of the region. The establishment of Mughal Empire in the 16th century by Baba, a descendant of Genghis Khan through Timur, marked a significant Mongol influence on Indian culture, architecture and administration of India. The repeated Mongol invasions led to significant changes in the military strategies and fortifications of the Indian kingdoms. The Delhi Sultanate, in particular, adapted its military tactics to counter the Mongol threat, which included the use of mounted archery and the strengthening of the fortresses. Despite the military conflicts, there were also periods of peaceful interaction between Mongol territories and the Indian subcontinent, which facilitated trade and cultural exchanges. The Mongol control over vast territories across Asia created a network that enhanced trade routes, including those connecting to India, thus influencing the regional economies and culture.